But the problem with me and you, we don't spend time with the Lord. We don't. We work too much hours. I do. One day I was talking to one of my business partners. Let me put it like that. He said, I wonder how you get it done. You keep moving. You wear too many hats. At the same time, you, are, you keep going. I was not surprised when you sent me a text and said, look, I went, I slept off, I was tired, I sent you your trip late. But you know, be would do. I remember that a man came here one time and he preached, I think the conversation, remember him, uh, Dr. Is it Dr. John or whatever his name, he's a professor from Robert. He said he worked so hard for the Lord and he got cancer. In the middle of it, so he went to prayer to the Lord. He said, Father, I worked so hard for you. Why did you let me get cancer? He said he was yelling at God, yelling at God. God kept quiet. Seven days later, God told him, did I ask you not to take a break? He said, I, the Lord, that created heaven and earth, I took one day off. And you, you keep moving. He said, you know the secret? He said, what's that? Go on vacation. Take your wife. Turn everything off. With you, without you, my work will go on. But you, you need a break. In Jesus' name. Are you spending time with the Lord? The second one is your cell phone. Big time distraction. Some people will be in the church. They are watching YouTube. Which one are you watching? Is it the man preaching or the one the YouTube you are looking at? So people are in the church, they will not let the news to rest. When you need to pick up the anointing, you're reading news. You are not connected. You have the whole day to listen to your news. You are busy looking at stock market. How much down for today? How much? <laughs> you, are, you are glued to your 401k. Guess what? It becomes your God. You don't even, even in the house of the Lord, you're on your cell phone. Maybe it's your boyfriend or girlfriend you're talking to. In your cell phone, you're still person. I'm not going to see you today. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I don't want to talk to you. In the church, pastor say, praise the Lord. You do not know why pastor said praise the Lord, but you jump. Hallelujah! What is the excitement? <laughs> what did the pastor said? You don't have no clue. I was, listen, I was listening to a powerful man of God, Duncan Williams. He said he saw one of his church members on the street, and he said, power, power. Hey, pastor, man of God, the preaching was so powerful. The man of God said, yeah? He said, yeah. Was he a blessing to you? He said, yes. What was the topic? He doesn't know. He said, he just want to get my attention. For him to know, he come to my church. <laughs> that is it. Your cell phone is a big office. Now, don't get me wrong. Look, especially iPhone. iPhone is more than some laptops. Look, some people operate millions on their iPhones. I know. It's a powerful equipment. Can you give it a break when you come to the house of the Lord? Are you saying thank you? Maybe I'm talking to you, right? <laughs> In Jesus' name. Look, we can do a lot on your cell phone. My cell phone can run my entire office. I don't need a laptop. I don't even need my, I don't even know why I bought the iPad. Okay, because sometimes I, I forgot my glasses. My cell phone can do a lot. I have people that live off day trading. Everything is done on your on their cell phone. When they pick up their cell phone, they pay attention maybe for five minutes. They either buy or they sell. They're buying a car or they're buying a put. They're doing uh, iron condo or whatever vertical spread. They are doing all kind of state crazy stuff on that place. They are making so much money, but there are some of us. Every time you take the cell phone. And the next thing you put it on Facebook. Some people are making money off cell phone. You are wasting your time on cell phone. Why are, you, why are you putting all these people? If I just OB, I want them to know, say, I did. We already know, say, you did. <laughs> You're spending a whole lot of time 
Even when you are home, some, have you ever seen some people when they are cooking, they even take the picture? When they, when they go to a restaurant, they take a picture, they send it. But Bill Gates, uh, what is the name of the guy in that own Facebook? He's making millions of dollars as you are doing that. But please, I have no problem with that. But when you do come to the house of the Lord, leave the cell phone alone. You see, sometimes, listen, all you need to do is to connect when your blessing is coming. When you're not connected, your blessing will not work for you. You might be in the house of the Lord. The angel is coming to bring your gift. And when the angel got there, he realized that this guy is not even paying attention on what is going on in the church. And the poor angel now is not even in a hurry to go back. I'm telling you this. He, st- he stood there waiting for you to even pay attention for one time. So he can give you your gift. Or you are on the cell phone. Until the conversation said the grace of the Lord. And then guess what happened to the gift? Taken back by the angel. Why? You are not connected. And that might take you another 10 years. After you bother Pastor Buki to fast and pray for you. Distraction. And this is why our blessing is not coming to us. In Jesus' name. Let me take you to the book of Exodus as we move forward. I hope I'm not boring you. In Jesus' name. So, if you are one of those that have your cell phone, turn it off. In Jesus' name. All right, there's one again before I even go to that one. There's this one they call money. Do you know money can call a whole lot of distraction? The, the love of money is the root of what? But there is one that is more wicked than that. The lack of money will bring stress. When you don't have money... Hmm, Life is unbearable. <laughs> when you don't have money and your boy is saying that you want to eat pizza, you say every time you eat pizza, it's because you don't have money. <laughs> you don't have money. Your wife said, can we buy rice today? Ah, what is your problem? Your mate cook in the house. You don't have money. And the poor woman go to inside the house and say, okay, what are we supposed to cook? I can't manage. The love of money will make you to kill somebody. But lack of money will make you to go and kill somebody. Also, because you really need to feed the kids. You are stressed out. The heat in the house is off. Your baby is cold. And you don't know what to do. I mean, may God don't put us in that situation. I understand when the heat is out because the electric pole fell down. That one is a whole lot of people in problem. I was in that situation before. Where we live, just a little bit snow, the tree will fall on the... Then I'm watching my kids. They are cold. So now the whole idea is to bring everybody in the same room. And find a way to warm them up. Then I said to myself, it's time to buy a generator. I better pass my neighbor. (laughs) In Jesus' name. Your hobby can be another problem for you. What do you like to do? Uh, this one is for our sisters. Shopping. When you talk about shopping, they are gone all day, including prayer time. They are going to buy food stuff. They will never go to one place. They will go to Alaja. Go to, uh, what is that name? That one over there. They will go to BJ's. They will go to everywhere. Forget about when they go to shopping for clothes. Wahala. I will say this. One day, I was fortunate to rule with Pastor Buki. We are going to look for some clothes. was the day that I would say I will never go with Pastor Buki to anywhere. <laughs> we drove all the way to New York. We drove all the way to New York. We went from, I think, counting is almost like 15 or 17 stores. Pastor, we touch this one. Could soft too. We touch that one. This one is too hard. All day. All day. By the time we got into the car, coming to my house, you said I was just waiting to stop and pick up my own car. 
So see, I, I told her, I said, Mommy, God bless you. If, you. if you're going shopping next time, please don't call Evangelist Obi. I ain't coming. <laughs> and that, now I know the reason why that the bear will not go shopping with her. Oh my God, that was a very good day that day. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless us indeed. But the good thing is that see, she's not as us. She got time for the Lord. Oh, that woman got time for the Lord. May the Lord bless her in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless her in Jesus' name. Please, what am I saying today? You got it. You need to spend time with the Lord. You need to love God. You see, you see did you notice that I have not gone to love your neighbor as yourself yet? Because that one is easy once you can love the Lord. Loving your neighbor as yourself will be what? Yeah. It will be so easy. Okay, let me run to this place. It will be so easy for you to go and go and uh, love your neighbor because that one will come so easy. Let's go to Matthew 7, 21. I'm going to rush this and close it up because I think you guys got it already. Matthew 7, 21. And for some of you that goes to the Lord, every day you come to the, uh, to the house of the Lord, you pretend as if you're doing the work of God, but you are not really doing the work of God. You are distracted. Coming to the house of the Lord to sweep the house of the Lord is important. But when you are sweeping the house of the Lord, please pay attention to the word that, that the Lord is saying in the house of the Lord. Pay attention to it. You can be a cleaner in the house of the Lord. Don't be, over, don't, don't be carried away with your cleaning. If we have seen what you're doing, the Lord will bless you. Amen? But are you connected to the Lord? There is a story in the Bible, Mary and Martha. Jesus Christ went to Martha, Mary and Martha's house. Martha was worried about what Jesus was going to eat. She was running about cooking. She ran up, she come down. After a little while, she went to Jesus and she stood at there. Jesus, you're not going to tell my sister to come and help me. Jesus told Martha, <laughs> said, you are worried about so many things. But Mary have chosen the best one. And what she has chosen will not be taken away from her. Sitting at the feet of the Lord. That is the miraculous power David uses to defeat all his enemies. That is how Pastor Buki herself can conquer all her enemy. You know the story about the house in Nigeria. What happened? Because she spent time with the Lord. And I'm saying to you today, remember to spend time with the Lord because it will be a great blessing in our lives in Jesus' name. Our God is good. Our God is good. Are you enjoying this? Now, do you know that you need to spend time with the Lord? Do you know you have to call down on your hours? Do you know you have to stay away from your cell phone when you are in the church? And start broadcasting us from a different channel. I have a sister in this house. God bless you. You know who I'm talking about. She, <laughs> she will have her cell phone broadcasting us from here to Ghana. And she'll be dancing in the house of the Lord. Uh, sister, do you know what pastor said next? No, but she said amen. Her own amen was the biggest one. Amen? This is, what I, this is what I know. This is what I know. In Jesus' name, this is what I know. If you spend time with the Lord, he said, whatsoever you lay your hands upon will be blessed. He said, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, he said, whatsoever you ask will be given unto you. According to his will, I'm not saying you should go and ask of somebody to die or go and pray that somebody's husband will be your husband. That one will not work. Or you look at somebody's ex-wife and say, I will do better be being her husband. There are too many wives and husbands outside. Go and pick up yours. Please, if you love the Lord, the Lord will take away malice, evil thinking in your mind. Why are you worried that, uh, that Jacob bought a Rolls Royce? It's only one Rolls Royce that he has. There are still 300 or 1 million Rolls Royce at the parking lot. Go and worry, go and tell the Lord, kneel down and tell the Lord, since Edward Jacob is your son and you gave him a Rolls Royce, what about me? I, I need a ghost Rolls Royce. Even me, I mention my own by name because I've seen it. <laughs> Amen? 
So what are you worried about that? If you spend time with the Lord, the sicknesses that is in your body, the Lord will uproot them for you. If you spend time with the Lord, guess what? Your husband and your wife will love you more. Ah, in Jesus' name. Masandarama. I like that one. <laughs> in Jesus' name. You will come back home. You wonder why your wife cook her for with seven lives. Is the spirit of... I'm thinking of prayer now. I need seven lives of effort. In Jesus' name. Your children will come home. They want to hang with you. Have you, you, you have a, a boy or a girl that don't want to see your face? You think that everything you're doing, you are okay. But if you spend time with the Lord and bring his or her name and put it right there, guess what? The Lord has the power to change the mind of a king. So who is your son or your daughter that the Lord cannot change? Speak something to the boy's name. Speak something to the girl's name. The word of God said, decree a thing if you have the power. If you believe. Decree a thing and it shall do what? Shall come to pass. Uh-uh. The Lord said, I've given you authority to trample over scorpion, over serpents, over all powers of the enemy. Oh, I like the last one. He said, nothing shall by any means harm you anywhere you are if you're driving if you're flying but what do you have to do spend time with the lord in jesus name what do you have to do spend time with the lord sometimes you have some enemy you have no clue that are firing arrow ah is it not written in the bible no weapon fashioned against you shall do what and every tongue that rises against you will do what it can only work if you do what? Spend time with the Lord. Are you with me now? I'm coming to somebody. I'm, are you with me? I'm coming to somebody. Because if you don't spend time with the Lord, and don't care how much Pastor Buki pray for you, the Obama man will say, I'm moral, I'm bikini. Thank you very much. You have to confess with your own mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know which language to speak. At home, I'll tell my, okay, me and my wife, it's funny. Sometimes we speak Yoruba, we speak Igbo, we take Yoruba, Igbo, and English, we miss it through us. But we do understand. <laughs> it's too many tongues. But you need to spend time with the Lord. Please, all I need you to do today is spend time. Love the Lord. Because it's the greatest commandment. If you love the Lord, loving your neighbor will be easy. So you cannot come to church and say, I don't like... Uh, that uh, Joshua's face, I don't like him. That one will not work. Why? Because the Spirit of God is already in you. Please, if you have anybody in this church you don't talk to, stop it today. Because there are some of you that your blessing is hanging on the pole. All you need to do is to love your neighbor that is in the church. And your blessing will be dropped in your hand. Are you with me? <laughs> you cannot come to church and say that, and then when they are singing, you are the one that sings. It's not that you're really singing or dancing. You're showing off so that your enemy will be angry. But guess what? Your enemy is not even looking forward. The poor enemy is praying that God have mercy. When you love the Lord, the Lord will give you the spirit to love the neighbor as yourself. Amen? I, all this blessing that is hanging on the pool, I think you need to come down. Are you ready to correct your own? Are you ready to correct your own? So one thing you're going to do what is to do what? Love the Lord. And the Lord will do what? Release that blessings to come down. In Jesus' name. Uh, you're supposed to live better than this. You might be comfortable already. You said, oh, if I just OB, I live in a, uh, I don't know how big the land is, but you have two acres of land. Is it not people that live in five acres? Oh, if I just OB, I'm doing very well. I, 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 I drive a restaurant, uh, a, a, a Lexus. I drive a Lexus. I drive a Mercedes. I see some people driving Maserati. They don't have two heads. But I want you to have that money with peace of mind. I want you to have money that you can sleep and wake up. Nobody is chasing you. You are not chasing anybody. I want you to have that money and eat it without any sickness in your body. Did somebody say amen to that? So sickness is not meant to be in your body. Why? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. If your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, why are you putting malice in your, your mind? You're conflicting something. The Lord is saying something to me now. Even it made me to stop where I'm supposed to go. 
please. Who is in this church that has problem with somebody? Today, listen. The Lord is said, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because this, this God is powerful. Your life is like a switch. I don't care if you go to gym, walk out, do that. You can be walking on the street and God is tired of you because you're not listening. And you will switch off. Boom, you fall down. Everybody will come and say, oh, you have a heart attack. There is no heart attack. God is done with him. He's not listening. And everything that you think you have, do you know who I am? I wish God would show you. That, you know, there was a, a, a program I saw. This man was so rich. He has no time for God. And when he died, he even just married a new wife. When he died, God gave him the opportunity to look back. And he saw that even the new wife he married, somebody else is about to marry the wife. All the houses he has, they are selling things like nothing. But meanwhile, he's somewhere that is about to burn. Serious. Please, brothers and sisters, and even Evangelist Obi, love God more. Yes, love God more. And by the grace of God, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. If you love that, give your hands together for the Lord in Jesus' name.